And welcome back, everybody, for some more Kings of West Africa. The uh, number one was really hard, but also fairly short. Number two was pretty easy and also pretty short. So let's see if these get a little bit more involved. But uh, now we will be going down to what appears to be Nigeria with Omalo 1260. Why do men war in the name of peace? I must tell you of Omalo, a priest king whose devotion to peace built a kingdom. Come, my friend, let us go to the shade where the sun will not burn. Omalo's kingdom was in the name of, the, of that sun. The Igbo people in the kingdom of Nri worshipped it. They called it Chukwu. In imitation of the sun's rays, the kingdom's missionary priests, men called Ndi, carved radiating scars into their faces. This marked their bodies as sacrosanct. They were not permitted to be enslaved nor harmed. It was good that a god protected them, for they carried no weapons. Thousands of Igbo people from many different kingdoms heard the call of the missionary priests in the ways of peace. While other kings ruled through might and fear, Omalo's power lay in ritual and mysticism. But how could a king preaching pacifism with an army of unarmed priests not only protect his people but build a kingdom in the forests of Igbo land? Omalo knew that there was only one way to ensure the survival of his holy people. He would need to convince his enemies to join him. Is this another monk scenario? The last one was a monk scenario. Ndi. Uh, light the way for another and your own will be lit. Yeah. Uh, convert the Igbo king at Oruchukwu. Convert the Igbo king at Onitsha. And convert the I Igbo king at Agbor. Uh, the Nri are pacifists. Do not kill your enemies. A pop limit of 60. Oh boy. It is possible to convert all three Igbo kings without training units, fighting, or converting anyone else. It only requires some puzzle solving. While the Igbo kingdoms only possess feudal and castle age units, their traditions of war making have made them better fighters. Trained in Nri will always be inferior to new converts. Uh, because the Nri are pacifists, you will only be able to train the most basic soldier types and lack access to blacksmith upgrades. Uh, Ndi, missionary priest of the Nri, has been sent to convert three Igbo kings. From west to east, the Igbo kingdoms of Agbor, Onitsha, and Arukchuwu, Ar Aruk Aruchukwu, uh, lie north of the Niger River Delta. Agbor, Red, musters terms and cavalry. Onitsha, trains swordsmen and shamans. And Aru Aruchukwu's uh, defense lies in spears and bows. The kingdoms will become more aggressive as Nri increases in power. On the periphery, of the kingdoms are the Igbo villages. These small hamlets uh, light are lightly defended and source for workers to build monastery towns dedicated to the sun god Chukwu. We have a monk. We can make a villager. And uh, yeah, we're going to do our very best to emulate T-West and be pacifists. So, yeah, we just have a bunch of huts and stuff. Uh, we are Malian, so we do have good monks. We only miss illumination, I believe. One tree does not make a forest. How insightful. Oh. Rip. And everyone's neutral to us. Oh, we're in the Imperial Age. Oh. Wait, why do I have two wood? Yes, hello, Dash. Uh, let's bump this up to fast speed. So yeah, we'll just make an army of monks. Oh yeah, let's get these goats. Let's get their goat. I hope the kings... Like, converting the king allows us to not have to worry about their armies. Yeah. 
But yeah, talk about a slow start. Oh, we have some resources, but again, the map is really small. But we're gonna want some more monks before pushing too far that way. But I mean, they all have very low score. You're very cute. Needing belly rubs when I record. Well, I can train a couple more monks with the starting gold I have. Just need to get a monastery. And I did see one tile of gold right there. Uh, we don't seem to have any monk text, though. And yeah, it looks like one of those situations where we started in Feudal Age, but then instantly advanced to Castle and Imperial Age, so we have, like, no text. Nothing that can be construed as useful. going to roll over in the other direction for more belly rubs. And now we're getting stuck. Well, we're sort of kind of slowly getting there. Let's go to uh, Aro Arochukwu. Man, all of these West African languages are uh, not rolling off of my tongue especially easily as a native English speaker. <laughs> Just a bunch of granite. Why do these not have icons? That's so weird. Get some farms. Oh, now Dash is complaining because I stopped petting him. Oh! Probably should have converted these guys. Oh, I have to like mine my way to get to that. Okay. We're going to go full pacifist mode. Just for T West. And we instantly run into a stone gate. Can I make siege weapons? Nope.
Well, let's start converting. Get you. Sorry. What are you doing? The scouting? Hey, what? Oh, that's just a walk and doil. So I guess let's try and convert some gabettos to whittle away at the gate. Well, we really can't have that many villagers. I mean, I guess I really don't need that many monks either. What? But I didn't kill anybody. I didn't I didn't kill anybody though. I I don't know what that's all about. I definitely didn't kill anybody. Block printing. Is there another way in? Ooh, what if I stone mine? Or what if by mining the stone I can get in? Nope, no killing. No killing. Well, this is rather unfortunate. I'm going to assume that we can stone mine our way in. Okay, Mr. Indeed. How am I supposed to be a pacifist? I'm trying to be peaceful, goddammit! Okay, yeah, we kind of screwed this up. We can get going much more quickly. Why do we start with two wood? That's so weird. <laughs> but yeah, we need to be more aggressive in converting villagers, just because I didn't realize that... We could do that so quickly. Let's not have the ostrich go bajillion miles away. Oh, do you want to go up on my bed, Dash? Oh, he's doing tippy taps. Oh, there you go. Now he's just going to lie on the bed and stare at me. Alrighty. Actually, let's go get those goats. Let's get their goat, Kappa. Yeah, but I assume we'll be able to stone mine our way through. If I could get through that, um... Oh, what was it? Journey to the West? Yeah, if I could get through Journey to the West from Philadelphia, I can get through this. Uh, 
Oh, stop running! Where are you running? Where are you going? Well, she's a lost cause. That is unfortunate. on doing that. Get one of those guys. Yeah, no matter what you're doing, it's still pretty slow. Give me food! Go mine the stone. Because, I mean, like, this is very uh, telling, shall we say. Yeah, if we don't lose our monks, that's also going to make our life a lot easier. Oh, wait, here's yellow. Unicha. Whoa, stop. Oh, yellow's got a big old city. I guess yellow it does have the highest score. Oh, uh, well, that's mining away. Let's go get some farms so we can keep making villagers. Hold off a second on the conversions until we have everybody, just in case they have uh, more people who decide to run away. Oops, okay, let's say a monk over here, a monk over here, and a monk over here. I mean, actually, I can just gather from the forge bushes here. Well, that lady's gonna run away, but what can you do? Start sending bills over to gold. What is it, Dashi? 
You want to get down? I don't know why Dash likes going up on my bed, only to immediately want to come back down off my bed. But corgi logic is uh, not my field of expertise, nor is it the field of expertise of literally anybody. Uh, getting block printing would be really nice. Camp. Block printing's two hundred, yeah. that, and then I think we should just be able to go in and convert this guy. Just try and get close. Give him the old voodoo. He's not even going anywhere. Ooh. Look at this huge army that I can't use. Upgrades then. Hey, how'd you get over here? Oh, I guess you were a scout. Um, I honestly probably don't need many more villagers. lost the don't kill any but okay screw it we're not t-west i tried to be peaceful and they just would not listen so it's time to die oh boy you know, this pacifism went about as well as, like, uh, my stealth does in, uh, any given Splinter Cell game. That's a lot of units. Mm, maybe I shouldn't have deleted my entire army. Too late!
Yeah, screw you, man. Oh boy. Run away! Oh no! Come on, get him, get him, get him. Jump for it! Darn it. It is okay. Everything is okay. Got triple monastery. get over here. Oops. Okay. Get him! I think when Filthy said pacifism, he meant pacify all the enemies. I think that's it. That sounds more correct to me, honestly. Oh. Oh, it has 8 plus 2 range. I suppose I'm supposed to just cut my way through here. Oh, look, a uh, ship. Look at this puzzle. It's supposed to use our noggins. Well, we just sail over here and convert this guy. Ha! <laughs> yep. Ooh, that's a big old army. Time to die. We tried being pacifists, it just, you know, it just didn't work out, man. It's not you, it's you. I lied, it is you, it's 100% you. Uh, we do need the rest of our monks, though. We need to get to yellow somehow. 
Wait, how do we even get to yellow? Oh, I guess we just convert the transport ship over here, don't we? Oh, we lost our entire starting village. Uh, maybe we can get one over here? Just do this. Yeah, we're just gonna go convert that dock and build a, uh... Transport ship from it. I don't want to go all the way back around, because it seems like we're supposed to go in this way. Go pick you up. I don't know. Running out of resources here. Something tells me this isn't supposed to go on for this long. Oh, we're overpopped too. Alrighty. And hopefully we can just sail in and convert the last guy. Impatient. Look at everybody dying. Oh! Block printing go? Yeah, a hunter with only one arrow does not shoot with careless aim. Yeah! Omalo's religious authority surpassed the military power of the rival Igbo kingdoms. His kingdom's ascendancy brought peace and stability to Igbo land, encouraging arts and commerce. The capital at Igbo Uku was home to one of the oldest and most sophisticated traditions of metalworking in Africa. Igbo bronzes were as much a symbol of worship as the priestly ceremonies. Igbo blacksmiths depicted hatching birds, crawling lizards, and tiny insects. All aspects of life that the sun god Shuku bestowed on the earth. Well, uh, you know, you... one roaring lion doesn't kill or whatever. Uh, can't make an omelet without breaking eggs. That's what, that's what I say. And sometimes, in uh, the pursuit of pacifism, we just have to slaughter everyone in our path. You know, that's just how life is sometimes, guys. Oh, a guy, a monk over here we could pick up. Some stuff we could mine. Wait, how did that guy get over there? How would that even work? I guess I would have to delete the hut. Yeah, that wouldn't be very intuitive. Oh, well. Anyway, guys, that was Omalo 1260. Next up will be Musa, and I assume that will be Mansa Musa in 1330. See you guys next time.